Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. This is Sharon, but you knew that already, didn't you? <laughs> and my co-host? The one and only Jamal. We're going to take a few seconds to read over this disclaimer. All right. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use or purpose such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, research. Fair use is used. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statutes statute that might otherwise be infringing a non-profit educational or personal personal use tips balance of favor of fair use. Ooh, oh, say, that, wow. say that ten times fast. We can read. Oh, yeah. Hooked up then well hooked on phonics. Well, here's our story, folks. We have a sad story here. A sad day in America when a woman kills her kid. This woman and CPS don't do their job either. The CPS took the kids away from the woman. Then they gave them back. So then she killed the kid. And then the cops didn't do a, a full investigation either. This is something else. What type of sick mother would kill her own kid? And, yeah. and her other kid, and she got five kids in total, and the other one's been taken away from her. Yeah, two of them stayed with their father. Well, she she got she got did she hit three back? No, she got two back. She got two back. Then she killed one. Yeah. Uh. Now let's get into the story. Total stranger spoke up for a voice that could not be heard. And look at where, where we are. A two-year-old voice that cannot be heard after police find his body in a dumpster. His parents uh. now charged with his murder. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. I'm Brian Loftus. It is a case our news now investigators reported first. Now they're digging into possible missed opportunities to help. 8 News Now investigator David Charns with the video you have not seen. And also asking the question, did two-year-old Jacoby Robinson... Oh, before we finish, we got this from Fox 8 investigators. Go to the channel check them out. We ain't trying to steal nothing. Give credit what credit is due. All right, let's get them more. You have to die. <laughs> Say hi, Jacoby. Say hi. Say hi, Jacoby. These are the memories Gracie Martin wants to remember. Memories of joy and happiness. Memories of her grandson, Jacoby Robinson Jr., before police found his body in a dumpster. Only an animal would discard their own child the way that he was discarded. A Las Vegas City Marshal finding the boy there after his mother, Deja Smith. Look at old hood booger, ghetto hood booger. Uh. You can tell she ain't mentally right in here. Look at her. You, you can look well, at her that, tell she could. That's why you can't have sex with just anybody and everybody. No bald head scallywag. I mean, you know, you, you, you find out you got a dud, you throw it back in the box. You don't mess with them. And they run around here having babies by anybody. I mean, good Lord, go get you some condoms. Go down to the health department to get you some free condoms. They give them out free. See, the problem is with her, she's everybody's practice girl. Yeah, but then use a condom. <laughs> yeah, you think so. Why you gonna go up in a, uh, go without a condom? Put, use some protection. I mean, good Lord, I mean, you tell me if you can't afford it, the health department give away birth control and condom for free. For free, free, free. And how free. do I know that? Because I used to work there. No, I'll play some more. Did him missing. Oh, Hours later, police would arrest Smith and Martin's son, Jacoby Robinson Sr., mm. for the boy's death. A death detectives believe happened after weeks of abuse. I kiss him mm. every morning and every night. And, um, tell me that I love him. Now, as her son and his girlfriend await trial from jail, this is all Gracie Martin has left. I just don't want him to be alone. An urn filled with Jacoby's ashes. And all the child that's in CPS care 
or anybody else care who deserves to be CPS in, and the police didn't do their job. Both police failed. suspect Smith beat Jacoby and his younger brother in the weeks before Jacoby's death. On June 6th, detectives say Look this here. video shows Smith leaving the apartment she and her Look, children. Look, don't we don't even know there's cameras at her apartment. No, she don't. Mm -hmm. I said she don't. I know she, she she's too silly too to stupid. know that they cameras everywhere. You can't just willy dilly walk around and think people are not looking at you. Think they're not cameras. God, how you think the police do their job? Well, she just did their job for them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ghetto hood boogie. I play some more. And shared. She's pushing a stroller before she calls 911 to report Jacoby missing. In the back of the stroller, police believe Jacoby's body is laying lifeless because they believe he's already dead. Minutes later, another camera catches Smith pushing the stroller toward a dumpster. Then, the sound of metal hitting metal. Smith walks back into frame with two children, not three. Mm. Anne Martin says mm. her son and Smith have five children together. Two mm. children born before Jacoby now live in Texas. Uh, it's just been history and just years of abuse that, that CPS, whether it was in Texas, Nevada, um, Oklahoma, known that she has been known for to abuse her kids because she got them taken before. Clark County Family Services declined to comment on that history. This case and Jacoby's death all citing state law. The only record that is public is this child fatality report filed with the state matching Jacoby's now, You got this report and yet they still don't keep their keys. Well, well they were removed from the home and they let them go back. People that they people don't do their job. Well, you know, one thing about about um um CPS workers, they are overworked. That's true. They have thousands, They have hundreds of cases, and you uh, one person can't keep up with all these people, and, and you know, and you have to re check on them. You have to do reports. You gotta you gotta do notes on them. And you, you you can't you can't do your job that way. So you know you always looking for an out, you know, because you add them to your case, you're responsible for them. So you gotta find a place for them. You gotta you got you gotta interview people. I mean, it's it's a lot of work. I understand that, but when there's a history, okay, it should be taken immediately. I mean, no, I'm not trying to make excuses for a CPS or give them out. But I'm just saying this is why people fall through the cracks because they have too many on their caseload and they can't handle all of them. And, and it, the child the one that end up suffering because people just overworked and burned out. Yep. Let's get into more. Of birth in his date of death. It says the department received a report in 2022 about neglect leading the state to remove the children, then Jacoby and his younger brother, from their mother's care. On April 1st, two months before Jacoby was put in the dumpster, Smith, deemed a, quote, appropriate caregiver, was what? reunited mm. with the really? children. Really? Appropriate? Now Jacoby, his younger brother, and a baby. There's a lady that is feeding a baby. He has to be, if he's two, I'm, I'm surprised. On May 25th, seven weeks after okay. regaining she custody of her three good. children. And she's physically hitting her child? Yep. He fell under the stroller. He's walking on the side. He fell under the stroller. A driver calls 911, reporting a woman, later identified as Smith, hitting Jacoby's brother while near a bus stop. The one that she's beating the most is the one in the red t-shirt. Video the 80s yeah, investigators the most. shows Metro Police responding to that call. Deja Smith telling the officer, the child, the one in the room. Okay, she, she did all this to the kid. The cops show up and, and do nothing. And do nothing. They don't care. Just another little black baby in the system. They they do not care. I mean, that saved him from having to do a detailed mm. report. Yeah. That saved him from having to do a lot of work. So, of course, he's going to ignore it. And walk away. And I was wondering if just gonna save his job next. Well, I, they they're not gonna do anything to them. They don't care. They're probably not. I mean, of course not. Cause there's nobody to raise a ruckus 
and nobody make a big deal out of it. So no, nothing's gonna be done. That's just yeah. another day on the job. That's that's, that's unbelievable. Yeah, you know, human life means nothing no more. A black human life means nothing. True that. And you know, and you no, know, like I always tell. If you if you don't want children, go take birth control pills. We know you're not gonna keep your clothes on, <laughs> so go get birth control. And and why are you gonna let? It, <coughs> ooh, excuse me. Why are you gonna let a man mess around with you with, <laughs> without a condom? Cause she was happy to get a man. Look, she she can't do no better. Well, all she had to do was have him put a condom on. He sweet talks the old ugly hood book into it. He, he, he didn't have to He talk probably had to do much, no. Nah. He didn't have to do much talking. Hey, hey, girl, what's your name? Oh, uh, can we go do... Yeah. Uh, I mean, have you some condoms. Have you a box of condoms. Have you a pack of condoms. Put them in your purse. Walk around with them. Since you, since you can't control yourself and you don't know how to be responsible... All right, let's get him more. Shirt, just 22 months old, fell in the street. I just got them back across the hill. Everything's fine. I just got my kids back two weeks ago. Got hmm. them back from where? CPS. That, that would have been the thing. <laughs> got them back from where? Photos the 87 investigators obtained show Jacoby and his brother in foster care before they were returned to their mother's custody. Mm. They're smiling and happy. These photos show the injuries after their parents' arrest. Scratches and whip marks cover his body. Detectives call them mm. loop marks, mm. injuries in various stages of healing mm. caused by a charging cord or a small extension cord. Mm. He's fine, sir. I can promise you he's fine. The boy, mm. frightened and confused as a stranger looms over him, goes into his mother's arms. It's something the officer notes when he's back in his cruiser and he's talking with another officer about what to do next. The notes from that call show the officer wrote no signs of 424. Wow. 424, the code for abuse or neglect. 11 days later, my grandson getting dumped in a dumpster like it's nothing. They had an outlet that day. Yep. The police failed to do their job. And my son, my grandson. had to go out in the most despicable way by the hands of his own mother. We always say, call, call and make a report. Michelle Saldivar is an outreach coordinator with Prevent Child Abuse Nevada. In cases where there is child abuse or neglect, that doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't a lack of love or care between the parent and the child. She stresses the importance of that 911 caller. The fact that someone made the report but she stresses the need for the work not to end there. I'm not sure if there was follow-up done after. There wasn't. Um, but there that's wasn't. kind of where, you know, my mind goes to, too, of, like, what could have done, been done after. Just the, the phone call itself coming in saying that this child had been hit with a, either closed fist or open fist, either one. That was the red flag, the number one red flag being called in. Martin questions why more wasn't done in the hours after. Hours that turned into days before her grandson was allegedly murdered. Because in today's society, black lives don't matter. That's why more wasn't done. <laughs> that, that, that's true. I mean, you know, you had these people here marching about black lives matter. No, it doesn't. I mean, mm -hmm. people, you, they get gunned down in the street every day. I and, see black people get gunned down. I don't see no march to parade in. I know. I mean, black lives don't matter because if it, if it did, there it wouldn't be so much black on black crime. It wouldn't be all this shooting and, and drugs and all this if black lives matter. Black lives don't matter to nobody. Not even the black people. Now, that, that's a shame right there. When you yeah. don't even care about your own, own um, ethnic group. Only time we care when another ethnic group beating us beating us down. Then that's when you're marching. Yeah, you go you go get that. Uh, you go get that march to my black light. Then what? Uh, 
the corner boys and all the other people of random bullets flying around, killing people, and you don't see mm-hmm. people marching there? You sure don't. Don't nobody say nothing then, not one single word. No, and Pookie and Ray Ray kill your kids. You don't see no march going on. Nothing. You hear nothing. Why is that? Because black lives don't matter at all. To nobody. It only matters when there's money being thrown in somebody's pocket. Mm-mm-mm. It's, it's, it's a shame. You know, this, uh, this probably going to sound bad. I don't know what that should say or not. So what? But maybe this little boy's better off without that woman anyway. Yeah, despite the substance. Despite I mean, the circumstances. it's sad he had to die, but what what kind of life would he what have if he lived? Yeah, with that one. Yep. Yeah. Because if you if you can if you don't mind beating a baby, what would you do if he was a little older? That's true. Then, but the father is not innocent either. No, even though he claimed he, he was living with him. Even though he claimed he said he didn't know nothing about it. Come yeah, on he, now. You, we didn't you see the marks on the boy's arm? Yeah. You don't think the daddy saw the marks? He seen them. He just didn't care. Who said he didn't put them on there? He, he might have. He so might. so he he is just as guilty for letting this crazy woman beat his son. If you didn't report it, you just as guilty. Yeah. He knew what she was doing. He didn't yeah. care either. I, I guess I guess he just one of them Ray Rays that just needed a place to stay. Yeah, that's all that was. And living living off the her welfare check and her food stamps and and her her uh, section eight. Her section eight. Well, but he didn't care. Well, I believe we said all we had to say about this story. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think of Pukisha and mm-hmm. Ray Ray. Pukisha and Ray Ray. <laughs> That yeah. poor child, the innocent baby. Look at how can you kill that child? I have no how, clue. How could you hurt that child? Because she mentally deranged. I mean, you know, kids, they will wear on your nerves now. I know I had them. But, you know, I, I, I'm i not going to kill nobody. Mm-hmm. I mean, no. Well, until next time, people, we got to do better. I just believe we said all we had to say. Well, you go down there and hit, hit that like button now. You know you like the story. Go down there and hit that like button. And, you know, and if you go over a little bit, you can see that thing that says subscribe. Subscribe. Then you're going to see that little notification bell. Hit that notification bell. Come on now. It ain't going to cost you nothing. That's the least you can do for society. Are you begging now? Oh, I'm begging? <laughs> yeah, oh. you begging now. Oh, I ain't, I ain't too proud to beg. <laughs> All right, until next time, people. We out.